Welcome back, Lakeshore friends. And if this is your first time joining us, we are so glad to have you. I'm Stacy, and the Learn at Home math activity today will focus on money, counting coins to be exact. And I'm going to show you a bunch of fun and engaging games, counting coins, that the entire family can play together. So grab those coins and let's get counting. So we all know that counting change is an important life skill. But as an educator, I also know that it's one of those skills that can be difficult because it involves a lot of mental math, right? A lot of adding and a lot of subtracting in our head. And then on top of that, we have to know how much each coin is worth. And that could be a lot to remember. So let's strengthen our coin counting skills today by gathering up some coins. Open up those wallets, empty out those pockets, Check the cup holders in the car. Hey, even lift up a couch cushion because money has been known to hide there. And if you don't find anything, well, maybe you'll find something you've been looking for for a very long time in the process. So here we go. So let's start with some coin-based activities for our preschool friends. And one thing that I want you to remember is this is less about them learning how to count the value of coins but more of just learning about the coins. For example, share the coins and start a conversation on the purpose of money and try asking them questions like, why do we use or even need money? Then let them have fun by shaking up a couple of coins and spilling them onto the table to be sorted by their different colors and size. Coins are even great to work on patterning skills. You can have one person start a pattern and then let the other person repeat the pattern to complete it. To extend the learning, you can even begin introducing the different names of the different coins and examining the front and back and having that conversation again about how the different coins look different. You can even explain heads and tails to them and then have fun flipping the coin and guessing which side will land facing up. Alrighty, hopefully I have some kindergarten and first grade friends out there looking for some fun activities they can do at home to help build their money and counting skills. And the first one that I have for you is to practice your skip counting. Simply sort out the coins that you have and put in rows of nickels, dimes, and quarters. And then simply touch and skip count and practice. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents. If you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, select a few of these coins here and slide them out. And practice adding them up and finding their new value. So 25 plus 10 is 35. 35 plus 5 more is 40 cents. Now, for my second and third grade friends who are watching, ask a family member to write down some prices for you, kind of like this little ticket here. Then using the coins, challenge yourself to show that amount in two different ways. For example, I might show it as 25.50, 55.56, $0.56. And another way I can represent $0.50, cents, 56 cents would be five dimes for 50, a nickel would be 55, and a penny would be 56 cents. Another fun game is called Money Grab. This is simply where you're going to put all your coins into a pile, and you're going to ask an older sibling or a family member to play against you. You're going to want to start by grabbing a handful of coins, and I recommend you put them in a shallow bowl. It's a little difficult to grab, as you can see, on a flat surface. So I'm just going to pretend I did a grab there and a grab here. Then you're going to take your coins and you're going to line them up, starting with the coin that has the greatest value. And then your partner is going to do the same. And then you're going to find the value of the coins. 25, 35, 45, 50, 55, 56 cents. And over here, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. 
Whoever has the greater value of coins is the winner of that round. So you would win with 56 cents. And you'll play till the first person gets 10 wins. Now, if you're in third grade or higher and you're thinking, wow, this is way too easy for me, you can play money grab as well, but we're gonna add on a, a multiplication twist to it. So if, for example, let's say you grabbed 56 cents and your partner who you're playing against grabbed 43 cents. You might think that you went one because 56 cents is greater than 43, but you're gonna grab a die and you're gonna roll it. And let's say you roll a four. You're going to take your 56 cents and multiply it times four, giving you a new dollar amount of $2.24. Then your partner is going to roll the die, and let's say they roll a six. They're going to take 43 cents times six for a new dollar amount of $2.58. So your partner has now won that round because they have the largest dollar amount for that round. And again, first one to 10 wins. Now there's certainly plenty more coin-based activities and games that you can play, but hopefully these are a few that will help you get your learning started. So today I hope you have a lot of takeaways, especially how coin-based games can really help reinforce those simple mathematical concepts. We worked a lot with sorting, comparing, and even building our addition, subtraction, and multiplication skills. So now I challenge you to find even more fun ways to keep the learning going at home. Bye everyone, have a fabulous day and keep on learning. Keep watching our learning at home videos, plus visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.